weeks ago, I gave you a recipe on low carb soft tortillas, which are great for if you want a burrito or if you want a wrap or a soft taco, they're wonderful. But what do you do when you get in the mood for a nice crunchy taco? Do you reach for those high carb sugar loaded corn tortillas? No. Today's recipe is for low carb crispy taco shells. These are so quick, they are ready to be eaten in less than 15 minutes. They are nut free, they are gluten free, and they are keto friendly. You can't ask for anything better than that. If you want a printable version of this, then check out my website at janetsdeliciouslowcarbkitchen.com. You can find a printable version of this recipe and other goodies there for you. Also, if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the little notification bell. That way you could be notified every time I put out a new video. And while you do that, let's get cooking. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Line two to three large baking sheets with parchment paper. Use a lid or a medium bowl and trace two six to eight inch circles on the parchment paper. In a food processor, add two and a fourth cups of shredded low fat cheese. I use mozzarella cheese. One fourth cup garbanzo flour. and two teaspoons of psyllium husk. Yes, you need the psyllium husk, that is your binding agent. Pulse the ingredients together on low for 20 to 30 seconds or until the mixture looks like crumbs. Scoop one third cup to one half of a cup of the cheese mixture into the center of each circle. How much or how little of the cheese mixture you use depends on how big or how thick you want your tortillas to be. So if you're just making six inch circles like mine are, then you only need about a third of a cup. You want enough to be able to cover the entire circle. Press the cheese mixture tightly together until it forms a dough that covers your entire circle. You can add more or less of the cheese mixture as you need. You just want enough to put a nice thin tight layer across the entire circle. Make sure that your mixture is pressed together nice and tight. If it's not nice and tight your tortilla will fall apart so make sure it's pressed together nice and tight so it makes a good dough. Use the back of a measuring cup if you need to and press firmly to make sure that the mixture is firmly packed together. Bake seven to 10 minutes or until the edges are nice and brown. Make sure you check and make sure the edges are browned when you take them out. That way you know that your tortilla is going to be sturdy enough and crispy enough. Let it sit on the pan for no more than 20 seconds, just enough to let the cheese set a bit. And then immediately use a spatula and lift the tortilla and hang it over the side of a tall pan. I just use a tall stock pot. Drape it over the side and let it cool completely before you use it. As it cools, it's gonna crisp up and make a nice crispy shell. Then fill it with your favorite taco fillings and there you have it, crispy low carb taco shells. For a quick taco filling, in a large skillet, combine a half pound of cooked ground meat. I use ground turkey. You can use whatever kind of ground meat or meat substitute you want. 15 ounce can of pinto beans drained and rinsed. A 15 ounce can of corn drained. And a 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes with their juices. You don't need to drain the tomatoes. Stir these together until they're fully combined. Add the desired amount of your seasonings of choice. I just use a little bit of seasoned salt, seasoned pepper, ground cumin, onion powder,
garlic powder, and chili powder. Season it to your desired taste. Stir to fully distribute the seasonings. Bring to a low boil and simmer on low about five minutes or until heated through. Eat and enjoy. And that's our recipe of the day. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button. Leave me a comment if you want to. Let me know if there's any recipes that you'd like to learn how to make, and I'll do what I can to get those out there for you. And, as always, keep cooking.